The evolving block universe of George Ellis is the most logical theory in mainstream physics. It is exactly the same as the block universe, except it has a future boundary in the form of the ever-changing present, or what we could call the moment of now. The present moment in time being the future boundary of a space-time which is steadily extending into the future as time flows from the past into the future. The present moment in time separates the past which already exists from the future which does not yet exist and is uncertain because of the fundamental probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics. In the evolving block universe the uncertain future becomes part of a certain past when a measurement takes place and the wave function collapses. This is a continuous universal process that is happening all the time, everywhere, and is called decoherence in quantum theory. Therefore, the process is not just relative to the measurement device within an experiment. It must be relative to everything that is a process over a period of time. The process must be relative to every blade of grass, every atom in the periodic table. It must even be relative to every living cell within our own body. The evolving block universe can give us a passage of time that is fundamentally needed in the classical physics of Newton's differential equations and Darwin's theory on evolution. This process also forms a cosmological timeline as well with quantum oscillations in the cosmic microwave background radiation leading to the existence of galaxies. Quantum atom theory is very similar but instead of having evolving blocks we have the movement of positive and negative charge forming a two-dimensional dynamic boundary condition. In such a theory we have an emergent future unfolding photon by photon relative to the atoms of the periodic table. The prime example of this is photon energy continuously cascading down from the Sun forming greater degrees of freedom for the disorganization of entropy that we have in the second law of thermodynamics. Each photon oscillation will only occur once but the process as a whole will create the potential for disorganization with the built-in possibilities out of which complexity can arise. In such a theory the wave particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is forming a blank canvas that we can interact with forming the possible into the actual. We are an interactive part of this process with the future unfolding relative to the energy and momentum of our actions with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment. Because this is a universal process of energy exchange each object or life form will always be in the center of their own reference frame in the moment of now being able to look back in time in all directions at the beauty of the stars. We have an infinite number of interactive reference frames that are continuously coming in and out of existence with each reference frame having its own timeline from the past into the future. The atoms are representing standing waves in time and it makes no difference what structure the atoms represent. It can be the atoms within flowing water with hydrogen bonds breaking and reforming with the exchange of photon energy as the future unfolds relative to the environment that the water is flowing in. The creative interactive nature of this process can be seen with just a change in environmental temperature leading to the atoms bonding together relative to positive and negative charge forming infinite snowflake diversity. This process is fundamental to cell life with the build-up 
and organization of positive and negative charge across the membrane of each living cell with the future unfolding relative to the complex structure of the cell. In the evolving block universe the past always exists but in this theory only the moment of now exists relative to each object or life form within the ever-changing world of our everyday life that is maintained by the continuous exchange of photon energy. The universe is a continuum of continuous energy exchange formed by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light with the movement of positive and negative charge and the continuous flow of electromagnetic fields. Within this process electromagnetism is the main force within the universe. This is because such a theory links the photon of quantum mechanics with the time dilation of Einstein's relativity giving us what could be called quantum gravity. We have photon energy slowing up the rate that time flows as a process of continuous creation or energy exchange. Mass will increase relative to this within each individual reference frame with gravity being a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. It is the outward momentum of light as a process of energy exchange that forms the inward force of gravity. This can be seen mathematically with both electromagnetism and gravity sharing the inverse square law representing the dynamic geometry of one universal process. The geometry of this process forms the unity of physics and mathematics with the flow of time being a fundamental feature of our everyday life within physical chemistry, engineering and biology. Because positive and negative charge is forming a two-dimensional dynamic boundary condition, this theory only needs three dimensions and one variable in the form of time. The extra dimensions of string theory and the many worlds interpretation are just future possibilities and opportunities in our one three-dimensional universe of continuous energy exchange or continuous creation. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.